my role as a teacher or anybody's role as a teacher, I always equate it to the metaphor of, of being a Sherpa. And, uh, you know, if we're all going to go up Everest, a Sherpa has been up there any number of times. And that's sort of the equivalent of a professor in the musical world. It's somebody who's been on that stage that those kids want to be on any number of times. And just like a Sherpa who's going to take somebody up Everest, it's somebody who knows that we can get up to the summit in any number of different ways, but he or she maybe knows the easier ways that are the quickest ways to the truth. I think one of the hardest things to remember, especially when you're as gifted of a player as you are, that always the focus of the music has to be your composer. Oh, but we are mad inventors of, of the classical music world. The percussionist is the mad inventor in the back. Yeah, that's one of the greatest parts about being a percussionist is uh, you just see it as a metal shelf sitting out in the, in the hallway. I see it as a potential instrument for the next piece. <laughs> well, first of all, the learning the instrument for us is, is a very f odd definition because the, the instrument in other disciplines is a singular thing to talk about if you're a cellist and if, if, you, if you're an oboe player. But for us as percussionists, like what you see in front of you here, our instrument is actually those instruments. And so not only do these young people have to learn to be facile around 50 to 100 different instruments, there's so much more to be learned about what it means to be a musician, what it means to be an artist, what our place is in society, what our possible contributions can be. And a huge portion of my own particular program revolves around the art of chamber music playing as percussion groups and every variety thereof. But you know, so much of what we always talk about and why it's such an important thing to us to play chamber music in our program is really the life skills that are on offer here. The question of being able to have communication which is nonverbal. He's got a message to say. He's got to say it to you without talking. He's got to connect to your spirit that then has to put her in. And then above all, the, the, the sort of incredible magic to feel like you can depend on somebody else. So you're in, we're all playing from memory. You have to count that, that every single person is gonna be there for you. But that the fact that you play better when you're uplifted by other people than you play by yourself. So let's go through the same material one more time. As you're about to bring your partner in, just reach out and grab your partner's hand and just pull them up and lift them up. Here we That's it. Play to her. Play back at him. No, no. Get her. All right. I'm hoping to let young people find who they are, what their own voice is, give them the technical and interpretive skills that they need to be able to hone that voice and to empower them more than anything to become themselves. Mm -hmm.